These are our thoughts on the Bonsgi M1, a full aluminium and very affordable keyboard from Echo. Well, a sub-brand of Echo anyway. Let's start with the sound profile of the M1 and it is a clacky keyboard. This is despite the fact that we've installed PBT keycaps on this along with the polycarbonate plate and IXP sheet which would normally make for a more talky, deep sounding keyboard but as you can hear, it's still very much a clacky keyboard so if that's what you want, this is the one for you. Next, we have the typing feel of the M1 and despite the fact that this is a gasket mounted keyboard, it's still pretty stiff to type on. That's because the silicon gaskets are quite stiff and not particularly soft so there is a little bit of flexibility thanks to the polycarbonate plate but this is certainly a stiff keyboard to type on. As for other aspects of the M1, the value proposition of this keyboard is what makes it such an exciting product. After all, this full aluminum keyboard only starts at $99 US dollar and it's really really good value for money. However, it does have a few weaknesses here and there. The knob for one is nice, I can control the volume and click on it to mute, but it rubs against the top case so this could be an issue with our particular unit but it is still worth a mention. There is also one other negative with the M1. It is quite a pingy keyboard because of the aluminium case. With that in mind, Monsgi did include a few things to further mod this keyboard such as the Teflon pads for a force break mod as well as the tape for tape mod to further deaden the pinginess of the keyboard. All in all, the Mons Geek M1 is a very good keyboard that is still quite compelling thanks to its value proposition. However, there are still some assembly required in the sense that you do need to mod it further to reduce the pinginess and to just elevate the whole keyboard to a new level. As usual, we will leave you guys with a sound test of the M1.